Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how I choose images for a website. So on any one of our websites, you'll notice that you're going to need images to fill in a lot of the spots. I actually did a count recently for this particular website and outside of links to testimonials or portfolio images or links to blog posts, you need around like 45 or so images. Um, oh, and this also doesn't include headshots. So you, those images are going to fill in like this hero spot right here. They'll fill in extra spots right here that go into next steps. Um, it doesn't include like these images or these images, um, like these kind of backgroundy images for different canvases links to different sections of your site, maybe even like a faux Instagram feed. If you're not going to pull in your real Instagram feed and so forth. Um, and I know that it can be really overwhelming for people to choose images for their website, but hopefully this video helps you understand that you probably need fewer images than you think, and you probably need certain types of images over others. I've noticed that when I'm designing a website, I tend to use close up photos. Like, let's see, it's going to come back in a second. I tend to use far away photos like this that allow me to have text over an image or really close up photos um, or detail photos a lot. I don't use as many of this type of images where they're full, full kind of pulled back and it's busy just because it doesn't allow me to add design elements over it. Um, I use a lot of details like this where it's like the ring and clean text. Um, I'll do a mix of bridal getting ready and like detail shots and a lot of portraits. Um, but I don't use that many reception photos. I don't use that many like family po portraits or bridal party photos just because those can be busier. Um, and so they might, they might show up in an individual gallery where you're showing off your portfolio, but as for filling in the site, I tend to skip those. So I actually used to be a wedding photographer and I have some galleries that I shot several years ago now. But I want to walk you through how I would go through those galleries and select around 100 images to then use to fill in a site. And one thing that you'll notice in all my galleries is that I have my favorites already as the first section of the gallery. And I think that's great not only for presenting your clients with like the best images first, it also makes it really easy to go through later and select images. Um, like this is kind of a cute shot. I might use this somewhere, so I'm going to download that one. I'm going to do, let's see, this could be a pretty one somewhere, so I can download that one. As I'm looking, I'm choosing my favorite images, and I'm also going to go for images that match my brand and represent the kind of work that I want to shoot later. So you don't have to show all of your work on a website. Um, you really want, want to show what you want more of. So if you're a portrait photographer, choose your favorite portrait sessions. If you're a wedding photographer, choose your favorite weddings or shoots or so forth. Um, like this one's really cute. I'm going to download that one. And let's see what else. I don't need many of these. I'm going to get a shot like this because these can be really good background or like spacer images um because the flowers are pretty and they add a lot of color i'm gonna grab one of the bride this one's cute i'm actually probably going heavy heavier than i need on here so i'll download that one i'm gonna go for this one because this is a gorgeous image download um I might do one that's further back where she's looking away. Download this one. And let's see, what else do I need? I don't need many of these. I just probably wouldn't use a lot of these on a website. Um, I love this image. It really shows off the dresses. So I'll download that one. And what else? This is a really cute one. This could be really cute, like next to pricing or something, because it shows just the smiles and how joyful they are. Um, let's see what else. This is cute, but I don't love her hand there. Um, 
I might grab this one too. I know I have a different one, but sometimes it's nice to have some options. So I'll grab that one. I'm going to grab one more of the couple, like this one, I think. Um, and maybe one further back, but then that's probably all that I need from here. So download. I'll just double check and see if there are any that I love more. Nope. All right. So I'm going to open up another gallery. All right. So here's another gallery. I'm going to grab this detailing shot right here because that's really pretty. I'm going to grab this one of the bouquets because I love that shot too. These shoes are great and they could be a nice background image um, because they were just shot on that clean blue. I also really love this imitation suite so I'm going to download this one and let's see what else. This one's a pretty shot, so I'll download that one. And I don't do many bridal parties, but this is a great bridal party photo, so I'm gonna grab that one. Um, and like this is a fun kind of bridal party photo because you can see everyone, but it's not like a big stacked kind of photo. Let's see. This bouquet is lovely, so I'm going to download that one. I'm going to grab a shot of the centerpieces. This is pretty. Tables. Um, this is also one of my favorite shots of the bridal party with this like vintage bus. So cute. And then this is great. This is actually in the hero spot on my old photography website. Let's see what else. And then this is where their portraits are. So I'm going to grab a few portraits from them. Download. Maybe this one. And then I'm going to grab a close-up because I have a couple that are further back now. So let's see if I have a good close-up one. I'm going to grab this, this sailboat too um, and the other sailboat because this kind of image can be really good as a background image for something. So download that one. Um, it'd probably be more ideal if I had the couple in it, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to do this one because I like this one. As I'm like downloading these, I'm remembering that it was like literally 105 this day. So um, they look so good for being so hot. Okay, so this is a portrait session and I probably won't grab as many from here. Um, I know that I like this series in particular because of the neutral background. I think it really helps them pop. Um, I like this one, like that would be pretty. One day I'll learn how to download photos from these old galleries. That one. Maybe one that's further back. I don't have many horizontals on my site, so I might grab this one too. Or I don't have many downloaded yet for horizontals. I don't shoot horizontal, or I didn't shoot horizontal very often. Let's see if I have any good further back ones. Um, maybe this one again like this is kind of uh, a crop that I wouldn't use that often on a website um, but I'm just gonna grab it yeah here's some further back ones but I don't know if I I don't know if I would love this enough to put it on a website so I just might not grab that many from this gallery let's see
think I like this one. I'm going to add that one. I like the colors and the lighting in that one. And... Okay. I'm going to go to another gallery. Okay, so this is a gallery from a workshop that I taught with Natalie Frank many years ago. Um, I'm going to grab this one because it's landscape and I think I could use some more landscapes. And then, let's see what else would be pretty. Um, like these are cool, but I don't know if it would make sense on my website. I'm going to grab this shot. Like this is really pretty. Download. But the majority of what I want to put on a website are going to be couples over details. Um, I'm really just grabbing these as placeholders to kind of see what would fill up the space. Um, and I will get to. There's a very lo lovely couple further down. Um, here's this one. The day that we taught this workshop, it was pouring, so we only had this tiny little awning to shoot under. Um, let's see what else? I think that's all I'm gonna grab from this one. All right, so here's another portrait session, and I'm gonna do this one. This was a great smiling one that was super representative of our work. I grabbed that one. These are actually our good friends, Justin and Christine. Um, I love the blue in this one, and I love how simple the top of the photo is. Um, like that could work out well somewhere. I'm gonna grab a close up because I could see myself pairing like those two together the close up and the further back one. I love this one and the neutral background and the little flag. I love this one. This is Maryland bow tie. Um, I'm going to grab this one because if this was actually my website that I'm doing, we shot in Annapolis and so I think it would be good to have scenic scenes of Annapolis. I'm going to grab one more of these, just guess. All right, I'm going to go to another gallery. Okay, so Stephanie and Mark. Let's see. Um, this is one of my favorites. Her getting out of the car with her dad. It's so fun to look back at these because it's been several years since I shot them. But it's still... I love these photos, and so many of these people have become friends. Um, let's see. Probably not going to do many inside, but I love their sword arch pictures, and this is very Annapolis. So, again, like this is a scene that if you are getting married in Annapolis, you probably recognize. We had another really rainy day, lots of rainy days, but I know that the sun came out later. And we got some really great portraits, not in the rain. Um, here we go. Let's see, I like this portrait. And these are again, just the highlights. You're not even seeing all of the images that I took. And this is a favorite one under the crepe myrtle tree. And this one. And that's it. All right, one more gallery, and then I think I should have it up. Okay, so this is an editorial shoot that I did in San Diego many years ago at this point. Um, but I still love the work, and so if I was still shooting, I think it would still be represented up in my style. Um, I love this one, and I love the green, and how happy she is. I'm going to do, let's see, these chairs are now back in, which is really fun. Um, probably not going to do any of the detail shots because I think they're going to be just be too bright, 
for my site. Um, but I want to do one more of the bride. And we didn't have a groom, so I'm not going to grab many from this one. All right, so download. And, okay. Next, I'm going to gather my images and see how many I ended up with. If I was actually going through this, I might go through some more galleries, but I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so I didn't even get to 100 images. I got to 57. These are my images. Um, and so from here, I can size them, and then I'm going to show you how I place them on the homepage of a website. I am not going to show you how to size them in this video. Oh, look, I didn't even get 57 because one is a mood board. Um, I'm not going to place them. I'm not going to size them in this video because it would be just make it too long. But I know that we have another video that teaches you how to size images for the web. So I would check out that one and then come back to this one and I'll show you how to upload your video images. All right, so I've uploaded my images here. Next, I'm going to start placing them on the website. I'm going to hide that one. And if you ever see these funky little characters, you can just remove them. Sometimes they get accidentally added. Um, spacing. I'm going to select this and I need a really good horizontal image here or one that has a lot of space on the end. Um, and ideally I'd want this to be one of a couple. I may not have just like selected a good one for this spot. Um, but let's see if, let's see what this one would look like. I think that's going to be too busy. Um, they just need to be over a little bit more. Also, since these galleries are so old, they're not going to be high resolution. But what we could do, so what we could do now is I can come back and go to my bride and groom images. And let's say I know that I want to use an image from them. I can see if there's another shot that is similar that would work better that just didn't make it into my favorites. So. Like this one is a little bit further back and it's still good and it might and it might be kind of what we need to replace that image. So let's download that one. Let's see if we have any other ones that might work in that spot. If you are moderately good at Photoshop too, you could also make an image work in that spot. So let me see if I have one that might work. This one might work. So I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. So I'm going to open this image up in Photoshop and I'm going to select this background and kind of get a sense of what color it is. Then I'm going to add a, another layer and then I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool and I want to make sure my brush is fairly big. So probably like this big. And I want to make sure my brush is a pretty good size. Next, I'm going to just start coloring over the image and it's okay if it's like a solid color. This may not work great with every image, but this is just a general idea of how you would do this. And then I'm going to select both layers and then I'm going to flatten the image. And then from here, I can take this patch tool and kind of select it. And then I'm going to move it over here and that'll start to even out the color. So if I do this, it should even it out a bit. And then depending on whether yours comes out really clean, like mine just did, you might, like if you have a lot of stuff in your background, you might also experiment with gradient. Um, so I could add a new layer right here and I could add this, this gradient option. And you want to make sure that it's selected to be transparent on one side and then your color on the other. And then if I hold shift while I draw this line, it's going to add this color right here. So um, you'll see that it kind of is going to fade it and you can experiment with making it darker or lighter um, and then merging it together. But doing something like this might also help give you a horizontal image where you didn't have one before. So let's merge these together and then see what it looks like. All right, so I have this image placed and I can play with the position a little bit. A little bit so maybe something like that and then if we hit preview you'll see that it looks like this it's not a high resolution image so if I was doing this for real I'd want to grab a 
high resolution one, but I just didn't have access to high res ones easily to record this tutorial. Um, so that's how you could kind of make these images work in different spots. You realize that you have too many images that just don't work in that in a wide spot like this. Like you could always adjust the design a bit. Um, like that's okay, but it's not as good. So um, most people probably shoot more horizontal images than I do. But if this were my actual website, I'd probably change this so that I could use any images here. So I would do see what do I really really love it's like a happy joyful image mm -hmm. maybe I'll start with this one so do something like that and then I'm gonna give this section a really light background and center it and do something like that um, so there and then I wanted to do a mobile too but I'm not gonna do mobile for now and then we could duplicate this and remove these other big ones. And then I'll do another image in here. So let's see what else I have that would be good. Um, I also love this one a lot. So this one's kind of a different look. It's more pulled back. Don't know if I love it in that spot though. Let's see what else do I have that would be super fun. Um, like this one is great. This is a good here, a spot image because you see the joy in them. And then we'll do one more. Maybe I'll do the smiley one of this bride right here. Okay. And then next I need another one for this spot. If I was really doing this, I'd probably shift this one over here and then move it like this so that the images flow so it goes left, right, and they're not stacked, but um, we'll be quick on this. So let's see, I need another image for right here. I have a close-up or somewhat close-up. So here it would be good to do either a detail or one that's like a little bit further back. Um, so maybe we do I did not grab any ring shots, but a ring shot could be really good right here. Let's see what this looks like. I think that's too dark, but, and I like this, but I want, I want the subject matter to face towards the text. Um, and if I do this, your eyes, if I were to do this one, the eye is kind of drawn towards the right and I need an image that is going to point people towards the left to the other side. So maybe not the best image for this spot, but something like that could work. And then here I could do a similar image to this. So one of a couple, maybe that's smiling. Um, I'd probably do a wedding over an engagement session. Let's see, maybe I will do this one. I'm gonna look and see how they kind of flow together color-wise. So we have blues and greens and browns, blues and greens and browns. Um, I think that would be fine. Let's try this one because it's a little less white. So this is a lot of white. This has a fair amount of white. This one should have more green and I think that kind of anchors the image better. Next, we could do a headshot. So I don't think I have an easy headshot of me. We will just pretend that one of these is me. I'll just put this drink in for me for now. Um, and then for here, we could do a more background image. So maybe we do something like that. The colors don't really flow. So let me see if I can grab a different one. We'll pretend that this is me because I know they're gonna have the same kind of tones because um, they were shot on the same day. So there we go, the second image. These would actually be links to either galleries or featured blog posts. Um, so I'll just put in a couple images here, but they would probably, these would probably be easier to choose because they're gonna come as a featured image for a blog post. I'll just grab a few. I'll grab that one of Steph and maybe this one of Justin and Christine. And then again, testimonials, you're gonna probably use images that go with your couple. Um, but I don't have a lot of images selected and I haven't pre-selected any testimonials. So I'm just gonna grab a few kind of random ones here. I'll grab this one and I'll grab one more so that it feels like my work. 
Um, I'll do another image here. So I'm gonna look for something that's more horizontal. So this could be a good situation for using this kind of image. Or I know that we have pretty brides made images like this. So I could grab this one and then I could lower the opacity a bit and do something like that. So yeah, that's cute. Um, these again are going to link to galleries, kind of like the ones above. So I'm just going to grab some images that I think might work here. I'll grab that boat shot and then let me find another one of a couple that might work there. I'll try that one. Um, I'm going to move this text up so that you can actually see it and we might experiment with making it black so it stands out. I think that would look better. Not pink, black. And then I'm going to make that black and I think this is just too busy for here. So an image like this would actually look really good on and that. Um, so like if I did something like that and I know that we used this one above. So let's see if I could choose a different one. Maybe I'll do this one and then switch it out. So I'm also looking for colors to be coordinated here. Um, let me hit preview and go do a scan and see how we're doing. Okay, so first thing is that this is locked to span the full width and I need it locked. I need this text not to be locked. Lock, lock, unlock and unlock okay right. and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let it flip because you'll see that their other ones are not locked um but then we have those and they're kind of flowing well the colors there are flowing well and then in here i'm just feeling like it's too busy and too many colors so if i could control what um galleries are featured here i'd probably simplify it a bit so i think this could stand to have something um even softer and um, less detail -y. So if I had a ring shot, a ring shot would be good there, but I don't have one right now. And then I think that the blues in here, they flow together. And I think this image could even work, but then I think this one would be too busy. So let me see if I could find another one that might bring in blues or more neutral colors. And we only, I only grabbed images from a few weddings, so we don't have a lot to choose from here. Um, but again, my goal for you would be to grab uh, at least like around 100 and I only grabbed 50 but something like this might work well let's see that one and we'll center it and then maybe instead of this one of stuff I do I know I have a close-up of her maybe we do this one although that's also a similar shot but we could flip things around so that we have this couple right here with the bus um, and they're in the middle and then this couple, Steph and Mark, where they go? They could go right here. So it kind of separates those shots a little bit and they don't feel so repetitive. Um, and then coming down here, I feel like this is gonna be too much blue for this one. So I'm just gonna grab this one because I feel like there's a lot of color and a lot of blue in here. And I'm gonna grab this image because it's more white. Um, and I think it just neutralizes things a little bit. And then I think these look good together because there's a lot of blue in this one and a lot of neutral tones. Um, and so things could either be more contrasting like this or they could be more similar. I'll grab a couple images for here. So let's see. This is a kind of situation where it might be good to do two that um, we know go together. So like maybe we grab this one and then if I have a detail shot from their wedding, which I think I do, It'll bring in the same kind of tones. Um, so I just use that drink shot even though you can't really see it. And then let's keep going. We'll do another shot here. And I think some kind of close-up shot would be good here. Let's see what I have. Like this one could be cute here. The pink actually works. I wasn't sure how the pink was gonna work with that image. Um, but in that kind of spot, you wanna make sure that the image you choose works with the pink. Let's see, down here we would do headshot of me but I don't have headshots on here so let's see do I have any that I'm this up we'll just pretend that this is me um and then this could either come in from your Instagram or you can just set images so 
I'm going to set a few images and I'm going to vary them by color and busyness and type. So this one is really colorful and it's kind of zoomed in. So this is going to be a more neutral detail. Then next I'm going to do another couple image and this is blue and it's also still kind of feeling neutral. I can grab, I'm going to grab another one of the boat just because I don't have many to choose from right now. Actually the shoes would work. So let's do the shoes instead of the boat. Um, and now I've had a couple neutral ones in a row, so I could do something that adds a little more color, like this one. And then I probably want to go back to another neutral one, so there's another neutral one. Then I can add in this closer one that's a little bit busier, but still really fun. And then I'll grab that neutral one, and then maybe I'll do this one, because it's again like further, it's pulled back a little bit. And then maybe this one, and then I'll hit save. Let's see, it should load it in a second. And, and so then if I hit publish and I scroll down, you can kind of see that very quickly I just started to place some of my images on here and it feels very different than the original site. Um, I think my images are a little bit softer, more pastel-y, and I tried to pull in blues and greens because if this was really my site, it'd probably have a lot more blues and greens than pinks. Um, and that one loads there, and then you'll see my other images down here. So Hopefully this helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at TaveyandKrista.com.